This tutorial specifically will be about placing high voltage transmission lines. There are three different object types in Line Planner. The substation, suspension tower, and junction tower. Let me show you how to place any of them. Go to Edit, Line, and then Place Tools. With a substation selected as an example, you can perform a single placement. Click the cross icon to leave the place tools. If you click on an object and go to edit through the context menu, you can refine its rotation. Next, go to the place tools again. And select a suspension tower in the drop down to place that. You'll notice that the transmission line follows wherever a tower is placed. Now to place an array of towers, select the Line tool. With this tool, it's possible to create a long straight line of towers. And you can customize the interval distance to your liking. Click anywhere to place the array. If your cables next to a substation seem to be tangled, just go to its Edit Properties and select Invert Cable Positions. To place towers at specific coordinates, go to Tower Placement. Scroll down to Add New Towers. And with the right layout and 3D model selected, click Create at Coordinates. Select a coordinate system and fill out the coordinates where you want to place your towers to create a line of towers instantly with correct positioning. You can choose to preview the transmission line and then clear it. And hit save to finalize the placement. Moving and deleting a tower works the same as with solar panels and wind turbines, but in case you're not yet up to speed, click on one or multiple towers. And click move via the context menu enabling you to click and drag towers. To delete a tower, click on one or multiple of them and select the trash icon. If you click on Edit through the context menu, the Edit tab will appear where you can change the tower's name. Give the tower additional rotation. Change the sag, in other words, how much the line will hang and change target points which we'll discuss later. When you go to Layouts and Layout Settings, you can change the conductor thickness and color. All of these changes will be updated in real time in 3D and Panorama Photomontage. You can create a new 3D line model by clicking the plus sign in the 3D Model tab. I'm choosing the WindTrack model for this example, but any model can be loaded into the software by the Wind Planner team for public or private use. You can further edit a 3D model by clicking on its settings, where you can change the name and size of the 3D model. To assign this model to an existing placement, click on one or multiple towers. Go to Edit, Multi Edit, and select your new 3D model through the drop down. As a final segment for this tutorial, let's look at what target points are and how to use them. When you click on a tower and click on Edit, you can see that the tower consists of point A and point B. Each point is connected to another target tower and target point. To modify these, you can clear a link and set the target to a different tower. If your lines are tangled, change the target points on the target towers from A to B, or vice versa. These same principles apply to junction towers, but with an added target point. That's all for this lesson. We hope you now better understand how to place high-voltage transmission lines in Wind Planner.